just say, okay, let's talk about series and a comedy. Okay. Drama and a comedy. All right. Um, if you're new, <laughs> as I was when I came to the Deuce, because prior to the Deuce, I, I, I mean, this was by far my biggest um, credit for your show, I, I had to go to um, a greater God, so to speak. I had to go to a bigger producer, which was David Simon. And David Simon was a two local up to what called Thomas and he was on HBO. And, you know, he made it happen. I mean, I, I dreamed it, I developed it, but he made it happen. You know, but I learned an incredible amount from him. I mean, everything I'm telling you, a lot of what I'm telling you, I learned from David Simon. Understood. Can you detail to us the evolution of the deuce? How it went uh, from uh, an idea to I had a show yeah. called um, Soundtrack for a Revolution. It was a film, a documentary, a music documentary about, about the music of the civil rights movement. It had gotten some attention. It, it, it was um, it premiered at Tribeca Film Festival. We showed at Khan. It was shortlisted for an Oscar. It was up for a WGA Award. And I had been David Simon's locations, a locations person. Locations manager, assistant locations manager on a show called Shame. <laughs> so David saw that we were nominated for the WGA and he reaches out to me on Facebook. <laughs> so I right, now you know, I have personal contact with him, not just professionally. Congratulations. So then shortly after that, I met a guy named Steve DeGrosa. Steve DeGrosa was um, a low-level gangster, um, definitely mob connected, Gambino. Um, he had a bar, and out of that bar in Times Square, uh, 49th and 7th, out of that bar, he and his twin brother ran sex parlors, involved in pornography, um, drugs, gambling. And, you know, I met this man, he was in his 70s, and so he pitches me his life story and saying they'd bring a TV show. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, well, do you have a script? No, he doesn't have a script. Do you have memoirs, notes? No, it looks like that. <laughs> what he had was audio tape, 90 hours of him telling his story. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, all right, I, sure, I'll, I'll listen to it. And it was within 10 minutes, absolutely fascinating. Right. Steve DeGrosa ends up becoming Vinny Martino. They used to, uh, that's who Mark Vinny Martino was based on in the deuce. And his twin brother Frankie is, is Steve's brother. Uh, so, the ba so I developed that into a treatment. And I wrote the first pilot, and that's why I pitched to David. David rewrote the, the pilot. But, you know, he, David, David got set up. And, I did about three years of research in the Times Square before I took it to the